Oh, there's the miscommunication right in the first point. You mentioned only played two or three times. That would have been Lipsky's shot because he had the forehand there. But um, these boys have uh, teamed together. They've, they've stayed together for so long, the Bryan twins. Doubles has certainly changed over the years now, basically because of the equipment. And you'll see that early here where shots are just driven at full pace straight at the net, man. In that case, the lefty Bob Bryan unable to handle that uh, volley in tight. Brom and Lipsky have had great success in the past. They just haven't been together here for a couple of years. Interesting here now that Mike Bryan is serving first in this duo because normally it's Bob. Bob, the big lefty that uh, prefers to serve first because he has the bigger delivery of the twins and it's a problem there I would think early stage with the sun so that means that uh, the team of Lipsky and the Ram have chosen the end to receive and that has forced them to have uh, the right hander Mike Bryan serve first. Ryan's digging themselves out of a little trouble here early. We talk about uh, who's the best doubles team in different eras and how the sport has changed. Fred will not tell you, but I will. He's not only a former U.S. Open singles champion, but three times a men's double champion. So from that era where the top players played doubles. Good solid return there. I mean, a good solid serve. First serve moving in. You'll find that uh, Mike doesn't have the same pace on his serve that Bob has, the lefty. They come back to hold in the opening game of this match. And of course, uh, the players and spectators will be serenaded throughout by uh, Brian supporters. And the crowd love their yep. uh, love their stuff. They've been out there throughout the tournament for the Bryan brothers and for uh, for Andy Murray actually. And uh, the crowd just listen to the lyrics and give them an applause, a round of applause. And uh, they don't interrupt play. They do it between points or at the end of games. That's what makes New York so great as far as a Grand Slam playing here in this atmosphere. And that is Lipsky starting off with a double fault. A little tight, he'd be tight there out there on Arthur Ashe Stadium, this semi-final. And when they played at Louis Armstrong, you couldn't get a seat. The Bryan brothers drawing a huge crowd when they play these days. Lipsky solidly built at 6-1-190. There's a fair crowd here for this semi-final. Yep. If you put them all together, this uh, the Arthur Ashe Stadium holds like 24,000 people. Rahm with a put away. Yeah, they're spread out pretty well, but uh, pretty good number to get things started today at Ash. Good moving here from doubles. He just plays this one back and a good anticipation there from Bob Bryan, but a put away on the volley. So 30-15 for Lipsky. He served very well in the quarterfinals, particularly in the tiebreaker that they won, but he was... He had a very tough day on the return, particularly off the forehand wing. Both players in the defensive mode here, the Bryan brothers. They close in to finish the point. Still a game point for Lipsky and Rahm. That's a play that I'm sure their dad, Wayne, taught them at a very early age. If the lob goes over the head, get it, get into the net, get into that volleying position. There they are, the stutter step. Lipsky moved, and it was Mike who put the volley down the line. So, still 40 30, though. Yeah. 
Brom and Lipsky, like the Bryan brothers, all NCAA champions in their college careers. For Rahm, he was uh, a collegian for just one year, helping Illinois win the team title back in 2003. That's long and another beam point. Lipsky followed the Bryans at Stanford University in the late 90s. He's a three-time All-American. 121 mile an hour serve from Lipsky there in the right spot. So game point for them. That was a well played point from Lipsky there. He was under the gun. It was a good return and a half volley lob. It was probably one of the toughest shots to play. Good retrieving skills here from Mike to get it up there, but uh, Lipsky calls for the overhead and puts it away for the winner. Well played game. Bob Bryan serving. Quickly to 40 love. Effective serve, swinging out wide. A hold at love for 2 1 early on in this men's double semifinal. Big serve from Ram there. Gets things started. The last year that uh, Rahm and Lipsky played together, in fact, the last event was 2012 Wimbledon. And they lost in the quarterfinals to the Bryants. And that was a five setter. This is a brilliant lob here. Good return, a block return. Both players blank at the net. And a little topspin lob over the head from Lipsky as quickly as he is. He couldn't get back to cover it. Well, Lipsky looking up into the sun once again. And gets the job done. Lipsky and Rahm, one of the better teams around. In fact, they were the... ATP doubles team of the year 2010. Broke up for a couple of years, have played just a couple of events here in 2014, early in the year in Chennai and in India. And now here at the Open. Strong second serve from Rahm. Two game points. Brian's are going to challenge that call. Mike Bryan receiving here. And it was out. So it will be a second serve for Rajiv Ram. Great exchange at the net. Bob at the final word. We're talking about good doubles team, quick reflexes, and it's the case here. Hardly 
Mike had the final word. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, <laughs> not easy to get get it correct all the time there. That's a good solid volley from Litsky straight at him. And that's what we're saying. A lot of the returns go straight at the net man on that return. And you have to be alert. Lipsky was there, so he's held together well so far. Two all. I invite you to check out the official tournament website, usopen.org, all the highlights, stats, video updates, press conferences, and more. Double fault. First one for the Bryans. Stay alive in that point. Yeah, and then a nice little angle there, and uh, Lipsky had to get to that one. Couldn't do much with it. Played the lob. Uh, good hands there from Ram, but just couldn't control it. In 2012 in Beijing, Mike became the all-time doubles titles leader in the open era. When he's 84th crown, he's certainly eclipsed that now. He's got 101 on the board. That's Mike, and he's won a couple more than his brother. And, uh, Todd Woodbridge had the record at 83, and now it's 101 with Mike Bryant. Mike has the answer there. Second service game for Mike. Bob serving at love. His game thus far. Bob crossing well. The shot talking about straight at the net, man. You've got to be alert. You'll be able to change your grip or move the racket head either to the backhand or the forehand. So and it's it comes at you like a bullet. Like it's pretty quick returning, particularly off a good fast serve. Interesting, Fred, to watch the communication between teammates. Yep. And every team's different. We had a team yesterday. It was almost like an American football huddle. They they spent 15 <laughs> seconds yeah. planning things out. The Bryans, a couple of words, they're ready to go. And the Bryans hold. 3 2. Well, the local products got Lipsky to serve to try to keep pace with the Bryans here at 2 3. And the Bryans start off in the defensive mode on this first serve. See both players back at the baseline. Now, Mike will move forward. And that's the second time in the first point of the game that Lipsky has served a double fault.
not happy with himself. Love 30. Fred, another thing when you talk about the lefty-righty combination and the way the Bryans are aligned, both rackets in the middle of the court there. The forehands, yeah. And uh, it's interesting because they can do it uh, either way. They've There's the lob return I was talking about. And a nice smash, but if they get into trouble in matches, they may change. It's legal to change after a set, change sides after a set, or change serve. So they've been known if they have trouble, and that's uh, David McPherson gives them a lot of advice on that. He's the coach that's been with them since 2005. <laughs> they get themselves out of trouble. But normally with the lefty righty, you'll, you'd normally have the lefty play the ad court. And when the with McEnroe and Fleming, Newcomb and uh, Roach, the, the top teams of uh, those eras played the lefty on the ad court. A good indication there of how tough it is to get through the players at the net. The Bryans not trying to overplay. They've played within themselves, not trying to come up with the big smacking shot. They're trying to work their way into the point. But a good volley from Lipsky at the finish right down the middle. Good job by the team of Lipsky and Rahm. And we get to three all. Well, at this stage, the quality of tennis from Litsky and Ram surpasses what they had the other day. It's a day where you don't have your best game, but you, you are get fortunate through. to yep. get, get through to the next round. Yeah, Lipsky will move forward and give a signal whether he's going to go or stay if Ram returns. Well done from Raji Ram. He's an experienced man out there. He doesn't panic and plays the return, this one, and then plays the lob volley, catches the Bryans off guard, and then he has the open court. Again, good reflexes, good move from Litsky then to move forward with his partner there, knowing full well again the Bryans try and play within themselves without going for cold winners. And it was a reflexes again, so in trouble here. And this is a bit unusual. Bob Bryan down love 30 on serve. Points now for Lipsky and Rom. Smart lob there from Lipsky. This one here, and then good Rom calls for him to get it, and then he gets that volley to Bob, and then the put away volley again from Rom. He's been very quick at the net. Full credit to Rom and Lipsky. They've been very methodical yep, as well, Fred. They, have. they haven't really hurried the points. And this is a second serve. Lipsky has got to decide what he wants to do. There's a let serve. This is a good opportunity for Lipsky just to rip one down the line and see what happens. Yeah, didn't get it close enough to the line. First break points of the match. Look at a second serve.
Lepsky to receive here in this final break point in this particular opportunity for their team. from the Bryan brothers. Very fortunate to get out of that one. Smart play here from Litsky and then what's what happens here. He gets involved and that was the easy one here. Gets two of them and uh, good reflexes from the Bryan twins to keep in that point. It shows you three break points evaporate pretty quickly. That means he's going to stay I believe. Yep. Bob struggling to get a first serve in, but they have crept back from Love 40. Now with a game point. Boy, Ram, there you go. He'll remember that one, practicing that one. It's it's gone now, but boy, that was an easy one, and that would have given him the break. And the Bryans escape big trouble. Down three break points. They come back to hold at 4-3. Some great tennis last night with Andy Murray and Novak Djokovic. Yeah, Djokovic is playing uh, so well. I called his match oh, a couple of matches ago, and as I said then, if anybody's playing better tennis than Djokovic, we haven't seen it, and it was evident last night. It was a great match for a couple of sets last night, and then Djokovic ran away with the third and fourth. Tape bounced over the racket. Now the Bryans trying to apply a little pressure on the team of Lipsky and Rahm. with a game point leading up to the U.S. Open. He reached the semifinals in Washington. Jonathan Ehrlich, his partner. He's worked uh, quite a bit with him the last couple of years. Let's that go, and uh, they hold for four all. More very hot and humid again today. Fortunate this year at the Open, organisers have been able to get the program through pretty easily. Scheduling's been a little tight last night. They had to wait for the night matches, the night crowd had to wait for some time whilst Warinka finished with Nishikori. That was a five-setter way into the evening matches. Kane Nishikori bouncing back after an 
Exhausting five setter with Raonich. Go back and win in five against Fabrinka. Brian off to a quick 30 love lead. Brian's now 36 years old. And her opponents, veterans as well. Lipsky, 33 years old. Rom just reaching 30. And Lipsky a little upset with himself. A hold at love for the Bryan brothers. They step back in front 5-4 late here in the first set. That's a good look at the crowd here for the double semifinal. It just shows you how well the Bryan brothers do in drawing a crowd. They've been terrific for the sport of doubles, a game of doubles in the sport of tennis. Great ambassadors of the sport. Lipsky serving. Waiting for some fans to get settled in. I liked after they won the last match, normally they hit a couple of tennis balls in the crowd. They hit a bag of them. They went and said, we need more balls. They hit all the used balls that were in a, in a bag at the side of the court. They got them all, and they must have sprayed about 20 balls up into the crowd for the fans. It was, it was great. Showman, they yeah, have they're. the Brian Brothers band. Yeah, their dad is yeah. uh, <laughs> the lawyer, and he does a super job with clinics and so forth. He's taught them all those tricks. Their mum Kathy, player in her own right, played at Wimbledon for a number of years. Played in our era, in the mid '60s. She doesn't like to come and watch him too much. She gets a bit nervous. He's open. That's how quick you've got to be. This was a forearm jolt on the return. There wasn't much backswing at all. Just lock the wrist and use the pace. Bob receiving. Well, that's out. And they will get their first break points in this opening set. Lipsky and Rahm had three on the Bryan serves, and the Bryan somehow wriggled out of that jam. Let's see what happens here. These are set points, break points and set points. Double fault, that'll take care of the first set. And the Bryans time their move perfectly. Win that first set 6-4. Pretty good buddies with uh, David Barron, who's the son of Mark Barron, who runs the tournament in Delray Beach, where they have had success in doubles because they let him into the tournament years ago before they became the superstars. And so they repay it by playing every year. but. We talked about their musical expertise here at the Open in 2009. They released a, an album called Let It Rip, which featured David Barron on the keyboards with the boys. And uh, it, it, was, um, it was very, very good. David Barron just writes a lot of songs and they've become very good friends. Oh, what hands again from the Bryan brothers and a mistake there. Just got a little bit out of control and a little bit overexcited. Rajiv Ram and hurried that last shot. Bob Bryan serving, Mike at net. Oh. 
Brown finds the alley. There's David McPherson with the shades on. He's been their coach for 2005. A lefty. A good doubles player in his own right. Played on the tour for quite some time. But again, it just shows you the quality of the of the twins. They, you know, they've stayed with so many coaches, get different jobs to do different things with different teams or different players. They've stuck with David McPherson since 2005, and that just speaks volumes for their integrity and the way they think. with the forehand and here in this first game of the second set break point opportunity Lipsky and Ram still smarting from the end of that first set amazing they worked their way into the net Lipsky and Ram on that occasion and then just teased them to go through them and finally come up with a mistake yeah. Brian's faced love 40 game in that first set and managed to get out of it to hold. They erase another break point chance. Again, Mike doing the damage there and uh, Lipsky uh, wanting to get that one down the forehand line, but he just can't get out there quick enough to get out there in front of it. And it's always down the middle of the court. So the big right arm of Mike Klein was there. <laughs> once again and that's what happened the last time they had those break points as well same play uh, hesitation there and Mike the right hander knew it was his fault he was starting to move and hesitated and it was just enough that uh, Bob had stopped his motion on the volley and so another opportunity for Lipsky and Ram. And this time Lipsky and Ram are successful. They get that break to open the second set. Well, Lipsky hesitated there because he was waiting for Brian to hit it, but he came up with the lob and it worked. So Lipsky and Ram, the first set, better serve percentages. More aces than the Brian duo and uh, more winners. But just a few more unforced errors and they couldn't convert. They had those three break points. They couldn't convert. And the Bryans had their opportunity. That's all they needed was the one. But now Lipsky and Ram with that early break and Ram to serve. They, they broke Lipsky in the opening set to win the first set, the Bryan brothers. Oh, we're getting a challenge here. The Bryans think it's out. And they're right. It is, yeah. <laughs> Allison Hughes in the chair said she wasn't sure enough to overrule the original call. Fred, the target has been on the backs of the Bryans here for years. They've been the number one doubles team for nine of the last 11 years. Very well could make it 10 out of 12. How has their style evolved or how they go about their business to try to stay ahead? Well, they're just very aggressive and it's good teamwork. They don't, uh, you know, they've lost a few matches, as I said, but the problem in the last 10 years is that the other teams that have played together, like Zimunic and Nesta, they played together for a while. They got close to Bryans, they beat them a couple, and then they split up. And then, so then you pick up another partner and you've got to mesh with that partner. So there's so many, there's so many different doubles teams out there now, and they don't all appear to play 
with one another for a great length of time. I think Payer and Suarez, who are the number two seeds, have done that. They've won a couple of Grand Slams. So uh, they're all trying to get a team that can do well against these boys. And for the last 10 years, as I mentioned, um, after... After the Woodies, the Woodies held those doubles records as well as tournaments won. And then when they retired, it didn't take the Bryans long to eclipse that. And they've just gone from strength to strength. As I say, this is, if they win this, this is their 100th title together. It's quite massive. And deservedly so. They're, and they're, they're great for the sport. Impressive hold. By Rahm and Lipsky for two all, or two love, I should say, as they consolidate that uh, first break. But well, as I said with the Bryans, I don't think they feel they're the best doubles team of all time. I personally don't. Some of the folks want to use that uh, as as a media deal, and uh, you know that's 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 good. That's it's a good story, but. They're an excellent doubles team, and there's not many out there that can uh, threaten them at the moment, consistently. I look at the teamwork there from them. It's just as though, in the early days, their dad used to get them, and the lefty and the righty, and they used to hold a piece of rope, and they move together. And that's what doubles is good. That's what it's all about. You move. If your partner gets drawn out wide, you've got to move to the middle of the court. And they, he used to put them with a, with a piece of rope. And they used to play exhibitions against kids like that. And it was fascinating to watch. Great hands. That forehand was ripped down the line then. Bob right there. coming to life here in the second set. Yeah, the Bryans feel that was in. It was called out. They're going to challenge. Mike was pretty sure. It's out. By the narrowest of margins. So they go back for a second serve. That return was out, and so they do hold and get on the board here in the second set. Down a break. And now face this challenge. Lipsky to serve. Up a break in the second. Have a look at his service profile. Three aces, but th the uh, three double faults. See that to me, that's off-putting when uh, your your partner, in that case, Ram, he, that was basically his. He moved and then he couldn't quite reach it. Then he calls out you. Well, Lipsky was not ready for that half volley, and it was three-quarter court, and that caused the problems in that last service game. He got caught at love 30. On that occasion, Ram did continue his movement and came up with the winner, but. That would, I think, put me off with my opponent just saying you, you, at certain times when you know the ball's pretty much coming to you. But that's the way he plays. That would be my preferred play. Yeah. Fourth double fault for Scott Lipsky. Well, I told you he'd be thinking about it. He knows full well what happened last service game, so he's committed all the double faults that have been served by that team, and they're down 15-30 here. The Bryans should make him play this one at 15-30. Oh, good serve. Lipsky winning the event at the Portugal Open. He's played a lot with uh, Santiago Gonzalez, who is here in mixed doubles. They had a pretty good year together. Playing only with Rom early in the year and now here toward the end. Battle back for game point. 
Oh, this will give him a bit of confidence too if he can hold here. And he put in a double fault to go down 15.30. There's, you always know when coaches are a little nervous, they always lean forward, fold their arms and lean forward. It was interesting last night watching Djokovic at various points. He's elated, he's frustrated, and you can see him animated on the court. And in the background, sitting in his box, Boris Becker, his coach, and Becker, arms folded, is staring at Djokovic and not one expression at all. Well, that was the way that um, Ivan Lendl helped Andy Murray. He just sat there and didn't take any notice of the ongoing antics on court. And this is a good lob. Trouble again. Lob return. Don't see enough of it. And break point. Ryan's knocking at the door, trying to get back on serve. They've already got that first set in their pockets. Let's keep reaching back. Found a nice angle. Time All American from Stanford. Trying to serve his team's way out of trouble. Nice work from Rahm at the net. Yeah, I want to okay. get Allison to make a call either way, whether she overrules or doesn't, but either way. Oh! I'm not convinced that she's ready to overrule or make a decision there. Done. That'll give Lipsky a bit of confidence. Again, he nearly missed a volley there because Ram called out you, and it was early in the rally. And this is good defensive stuff at the net. They're just saying, well, okay, if you want it, you've got to hit through us. And this is an excellent overhead. Another two U's, and there was no chance that Ram was going to hit either one of those balls. too much they've got a service break here and uh, Lipsky did a super job to get out of the last one down a service down a break point yeah he's kind of taking charge Trouble finding a first serve the last time that he served. And missing there. Bob's biggest serve has been 134 miles per hour. He's the one that's been in a bit of trouble on the serve, though, today. He has the bigger delivery, but nice serve there, though. To the forehand. And he holds. But the Bryans continue up a set, down a break in the second. It was 315 
back in 2006. So all these boys don't get to play singles. They can't get into the draw. It's been tough on the Bryan brothers. Even the Bryan brothers haven't played singles for years and years and years because they're in the doubles as they progress through the week. And that means they've got to get out of the doubles or lose and then or go quickly to the next tournament to compete in the qualifying in the singles. So that's just, uh, it's just too tough. And that's why quite a few of the double specialist guys that are not good singles players elect to just try and concentrate on the doubles because if they don't, they start thinking about getting to the next place to qualify in the singles. That, uh, that's not a good way of going about things. And you're the Bryans who each have won about $12 million. Yep. In Doubles. Their careers. Doubles, yes. Well, Mike Bryan's highest ranking in singles was 246 in the year 2000, so he hasn't uh, played singles since then, so that's 14 years of playing on the doubles. And his brother the same, it was 116, Bob, in the year 2000. So they've concentrated and done very well with their craft as doubles only players. Represented their country well, won a bunch of grand slams and looking for their 100th title together here. Rom's earnings have pushed over two million. He does have a singles title to his credit. The grass court event at Newport right after Wimbledon. That was back in uh, 2009. Mostly double since. Oh, there's a brilliant return. Good job by Mike for 30 all. They're looking to break back, get their teeth into this second set. Good forearm jolt, hit very flat. Cross court, got it around about waist high. Great work to handle the lobs of the Bryans, but then. Well, did they keep him busy during that rally? That was a tactical move, and they made Scott hit all these overheads. He thought that one may go long, but then he moves in. He works his way into the net again, as good doubles team should. Lipsky gets this one, the low volley, and uh, dumps it into the net, pushes it into the net. So a tough point there. It's a break point for the Bryans. Bryans were broken in the first game of the second set after breaking to take the first. Rahm with a great overhead put away. Get out of trouble now to Deuce. He's a tough man to lob over. Six foot four. Born in Denver, Colorado now. Lives in Indiana, as we mentioned, went to school at uh, the University of Illinois. Oh, let it go. And a bad error of judgment there from Ram. He could have hit it. And there was another lob return from the Bryans. And that's into the sun. The sun's a bit of a problem from that end. And he elected to let it go. There's a nervous coach leaning forward. Now he's relaxed. Fold your arms and hope <laughs> your man gets this one done. And Mike will get a look at a second serve from Rahm. Can't make the return. Uh, that's a situation where I believe you have to make the opponent play the return because they're as nervous and they're the ones that are up the break they're down a break point they get up tight and make them play the volley Oh, 
Well it. done. That's great stuff from Litsky. He was the man that did it there. Kept it in play, this one, and over the top. You could see that Bob was moving forward, way forward. And there it is. You can see the reaction there. So this is a big hold here if he can to keep in front with that service break. It's a game point. Oh, miscommunication there. Both players going to the one spot. on winners. And Rom serving an ace. That's the first for him today. Lipsky's had the other three. Lipsky, the local product from nearby Merrick, 27 miles east of the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. No, not, a bad, to hold. Not, not a bad finish to that game for them. Nice moment for Lipsky. Yeah, reaching the semifinals and right in there for a berth in the U.S. Open men's doubles finals. As they continue up a break in the second set. Mike Bryan to serve. Gets the job done. Clocked that one very well, Ram. Ram and Lipsky have had their moments of miscommunication. They wobbled a little bit in trying to defend this uh, service break, Fred, but they continue to hang yeah. in there. Ram's done well in the Challenger singles. He's won a title there, and he's... 19 and 10 this year in the challenges in singles. But, uh, got his career ranking up now that he can get straight into the Grand Slams. Two game points for the Bryans. Did not drop a set on their way to the quarters and then one in three sets against Marrero and Verdasco. They're able to hold here. They're up a set. Rom's last <coughs> title in doubles was a couple of years ago at St. Petersburg. Indoors in a hard court. As we said, one title this year at Portugal. And Rom, no titles since 2012. So this is certainly a great opportunity for them getting to the semifinals and right in there for a spot in the finals at the U.S. Open. Down the middle there, a low part of the net, very tough one to play right at the shoelaces. Next. 
Kaminsky another ace. They've had a total of six. And he has served five of them. Polly was long. That's another call of you. That's a little disconcerting. The Bryans have consistently put pressure on the Lipsky Rom serve. But they just can't break through here in the second set. Uh, they've been close every game in this second set. Lipsky and Ram have just uh, held firm. That was a good serve there, not a big serve, 116 miles an hour, but in the right spot. Middle wide open for Rom. Game point. Doesn't have to move much with that uh, reach at six foot four. The heat from the Bryans pretty well. And they hold late in the second set up a break. Trying to get settled down on serve, and uh, he's off to a good start. Just like that, 40 love. A hold at love for the Bryan brothers, but they're down a break. Late in the second, they won the first set. Bob Bryan set to return the serve of Rajiv Ram, checking the position of the sun in relation to his toss as we get going here. He's been very, very solid in the overhead. Scott Lipsky didn't do much with the volleys, but just threatened and said, well, you've got to go through me. They wanted to go over the top here. And uh, great balancing right down the middle. So moment of truth here for Raji Faram, serving for this set. His favorite tennis player is Boris Becker. That's who he grew up admiring. and. Uh, Pete Sampras and says he has pretty much the same motion on the serve as Pete Sampras. So if that's the case, he ought to be able to close this one out. <laughs> no problem. Now a new racket for Mike Bryan. Bryan's able to break Lipsky and Rom late in the first and uh, captured that first set. Now trying to get a break and stay alive in the second set. And that's a Pete Sampra serve, an ace there, trying to close this out. He Cons must be listening to you. Yeah, he considers his strength as his serve and attacking style. And he's actually showed us that today, Rajiv Ram. 30 love to get to a set of peace. Has the same start as Sampras, same motion. Well, he got away from him. 
two points away from the set. You've got to try and do something with the volley up there. You can't just get it back and let the players get set because if they get set, then they can drill the ball a little bit harder. You've got to have enough firmness on the volley so that they just really can't get set to crack passing shots. Still in front, 30-15. Thought he had room down the alley. Just missed. Now two set points for Rajiv Ram. Amazing, just one service break and they've been in trouble on serve and they've done a good job holding firm. And now an opportunity to take the Bryans to a third and decisive set. Another Pete Sampras serve will do it. That's just where we're headed. A third set coming up. Mike Bryan will open the third set. Bob with a put away. From Rom. Quickly, it's 30 love. Boy, they had a super quick hold late in the second set on Bob's serve. And they're following it up on Mike's. That's a much better return off the forehand wing from Scott Lipsky. Did a good job the second set, Lipsky Ram, because they lost the first set with a double fault, and then it was Lipsky who was in trouble early in the second set, was down a break point, and he came up with a couple of big first serves. Wow, tremendous angle on that backhand overhead from Mike Bryan. And they hold in this opening game of the third set. Let's look at the numbers from set number two, Fred. Lipsky and Ram, better serving percentages, not by much, but they're the aces. They went for the serve, and they're, actually there were two of them in that last game for Ram. 18 winners, did a good job there. More winners than the Bryans, same unforced errors. But they converted one of two opportunities and they deserved that win in the second set. They held firm and... Uh, under a little bit of pressure, the Bryan's trying to break through all the way through that set, and they held firm to win it. Love Comes down to this third set. Bryan's holding to open. Lipsky netting the volley and serving to try to keep pace. Yeah, Lipsky was under pressure, as we mentioned, in the second set, and he was able to hang tight there. Well, he made it. As you said, Fred, that's really been his strength, those yep. overheads. I think there's a challenge out there, but I think he was good. Didn't hit it in the middle of the racket, but it was good enough to keep it in and a 30-love lead. the review. It's smack on the sideline.
premature chest bump there for Bob Bryan's winner down the line. Usually reserved for uh, after they win the match. Good job here from Litsky to get this one, but the last one was a body volley, just not enough on it. So it allowed Brian to get around, Bob Bryan to get around and whack that big left handed forehand. in and uh, Lipsky's going to challenge. It's a close one. I think it might have been good. If it's good, it's a huge break for the Bryans. Lipsky bearing a facial resemblance to the no, anchor. No, missed. Stiller. What a good call. That's a great call from Lipsky. Yeah. in but it was not the case 30 all yeah, what a great comeback from Lipsky there uh, difference of 30 all and 15 40 at the aces the Bryans yet to serve an ace which is uh, pretty incredible it's getting into the third set the baseline interesting game but uh, Lipsky holding sir for one all here in the third set some close calls serve from Bob Bryan on that one on their way to yet another easy hold good close then from Bob Bryan the, just up around shoulder height for the big Left-handed forehand volley. Oh. The Bryan survived there. You don't usually get two whacks at a shot, but they did. And a hold at love. We move on here in this third and deciding set. On serve. On serve here in the third. Rajiv Ram to serve. Bob Bryan to receive. Men's quarterfinals on deck here at Arthur Ashe Stadium with Burdick and Chilich. But uh, we have a berth in the men's doubles finals to decide before that happens. Sure, that guy get, has to go get the drinks, and then he's the guy that uh, gets called out and not finding a seat in time. Strong service game. Hasn't missed one yet on that overhead. He's been very safe. 
Good balance, good leap, and a powerful finish. Threatened to serve of Rahm and Lipsky throughout that second set, never did break through. Pretty strong service game here, two game points. that one up as an ace. Yeah, he caught a little bit late. But uh, just enough, it clipped the edge of the line. Lipsky went over and checked the mark. Decided it was good, no challenge. Mike Bryan receiving. Lipsky finishes it off. And we're two all here in the third. Reminder to check out usopenshop.org for all your towels, T-shirts, other memorabilia from the 2014 U.S. Open. This is settled into a nice little pace here, Fred. Maybe yeah. a little calm before the storm. Good move there from Lipsky. Anticipated this volley here and the return. He moves forward onto the net and all he has to do is get the racket on that one. It was a high reply on the volley from Mike Bryant. Put away. Getting down to the business end here at two all in the final set to decide the winner. Solid return from Lipsky. They are trying to stir things up here in the third. Tough situation now. Love 30 down. Yeah. Means he's not going to go, I believe. Oh. He stays there. Now they're looking at a second serve here. Huge opportunity if a Ram can get a look at a big forehand. Oh, yeah, well done. Just didn't keep it low enough on the second shot, Ram. This forehand here, and then this next one is up around shoulder height. And see, that's a pretty easy volley for the Bryans. Nearly had the ace down the tee. He's been returning well. Look at his second serve. Yeah, well, that was well done. Boy, he waited for that, held it, and ripped it down the line. I think his backhand return is more solid than the forehand, so a huge opportunity here. As Bob moved a little early. He's pumped up. They're one for five at break points. Still have another one. 
Good effort from Ram, just couldn't control it up in the air. See his shirt ruffling a bit. Yeah, starting to get a little breezy actually. the forehand wing that's what he said yeah you got to go back to the baseline he was fooled there a little bit of pressure and it was a movement from the net here from there he is there moving at the net and he thinks he's got an opening just drags it in and there he knows he made an error there back to the baseline man that should have gone still in it though juice it's all pretty easy sitting up here <laughs> Isn't it though? Two break points by the board for Lipsky and Rahm, and a great opportunity to jump in front where the break points have been few and far between. And now the Bryans have it turned around. That close to a hold. And that was a second serve, a shaky second serve, and not a good reply from Rahm. He mishit it on that backhand on the frame. There's that forehand again. That's it. Well, the Bryans have been escape artists much of this afternoon. We're still on serve in the third. It's an All-American semifinal matchup here. Scott Lipsky serving with new balls. I remember Benny Goodman and Paul Muriat. <laughs> Not big on the Led Zeppelin uh, collection. Uh, well, that Tyro Daniel, he impressed me. A big Led Zeppelin fan. He's 21 years old. The heroes are Roger Federer and Jimmy Page. Yeah, the Who. I enjoyed the Who. Those boys. I knew those guys when they played. <laughs> Tommy Robredo is named after Tommy the and the Who. Yeah. Really? Yeah. His dad was a Who fanatic, so he's now, you don't have too many Spaniards named Tommy. Yeah. Our viewers know where to go for rock trivia and uh, some pretty good doubles tennis this afternoon. Yeah, this one here, that volley again, that was Ram called you, and it was a tentative volley from Litsky, who's in front. They've got a hole firm here, but that not enough on it, and it allowed Bob Bryan to get around and crack that forehand, that big lefty forehand again. Here's a second serve. Things are getting tight now. Oh, that's good anticipation there from Ram. As soon as he watched Brian move, that left-hander, he has to move there. He has to make this volley. Watch what Bob Bryan does now. He has to go down the, in the middle for this one. He, otherwise, you've got to play a really acute angle off a volley like that, and that's too tough. So Ram was sitting on it. Very well done. Another good return. Litsky not able to get past that service line to play the volley. He's been caught there on three occasions, making that half volley, and they've been costly. However, he's still in front, things to deuce. Now things get tight.
40-15 lead here. Well done. Another call from you. Now that was Ram shot the hit, and he didn't want to hit it. And he lets it go and then calls you. So he's lucky that Lipsky was aware enough then, and then Lipsky followed up with a brilliant forehand winning volley. enough with that at all that was a terrible shot should he have taken that out of the air he could have taken it out of the air but he should have put a bit of stick on it look at this there's nothing on this this gives them a chance to do anything they can and so it's the big the big forehand that gets ram he's not ready for that and gets him in trouble that was a bad mistake at a big point so is that didn't do enough on that return of serve. Litsky just played it back right into the hands of the big forehand and then misses the volley. Well, they've had a tremendous sense of timing in this match, breaking to take the first set, threatening to do so here and move in front late in the deciding set. Well done. Another call of you. It will be very disconcerting uh, if you're Lipsky there. And Ram doesn't want you all the time, but he came up with a big overhead Ram at the right time, so it keeps him in it. Boy, they're struggling here since leading 40-15. Got to play a couple of good positive points here. get another opportunity and he didn't go for too much on that return again it was Lipsky had to play a half volley he hasn't been successful with a half volley on the after the return of serve so as you can see one converted break point for each team and they came in consecutive games the final game well, this will be a tough second serve here first and there it is. That's happened. You could just feel that coming. You could feel it happening. It happened. He's got to be very discouraged with that. You could feel that. As I mentioned, it's a tough second serve because that's what happened in the first set. They were in front. They got there and they were down set point. And then Lipsky threw in a double fault to give him the set. Now, McPherson's a lot happier at the moment sitting there. O'Brien's now 4-2. Well, when that happened, that took care of the first set and the first game of the second set. Lipsky and Rahm were able to convert their one break point. Well, I'd be very surprised if this one's not done and dusted. That's the big return they want. He needs the whole serve here. And now they're so disappointed. Rahm made a bad return of serve. Lipsky shanks that forehand. They'll let him hit forehands. There you can see he's practicing that shot, trying to get over it. to get to work. Again, served to the forehand. Didn't want to go to the backhand. Another tentative reply there, trying to go for the lob from Lipsky. Looking for the quick hole to get them one game away from a spot in the U.S. Open men's doubles finals. And 
they get it. 5-2 now. The Bryans one game away from the finals. Rajiv Ram to serve. And try to keep his team in it. Down a break very, very late. Yeah, the 3-2, they played Lipsky and Ram on the Lipsky serve. Led 40-15, played a very tentative game. And they're going to pay for it. They have. They haven't won a point since then. A big service game from Bob Bryan has put them ahead. And now this one, volley, nothing on that volley and a good interception. So absolutely a lot of wind out of the sail there. And there's Love 30. They're just flabbergasted at the moment. Two points from the finals are Bob and Mike Bryan. So close, but yet so far. time these two as a team played at a slam together was a losing to the Bryans at Wimbledon 2012 and they're trying to keep things going here we're at 30 all good serve from Ram there forehand down to the forehand Well done, good rally. Crowd love it. Good hands from those two right then. They were under the pump. Smacked it straight at him, another one. That's the best exchange from the net that they've had, Lipsky and Ram, and they were victorious. Hanging in there, 19 strokes in that rally. the serve when they've been under a lot of pressure. Lipsky served a double fault to lose the break. Served a double fault to lose the set. Now he serves a double fault now to give a match point. Ram. Ryan's trying to reach the finals for the sixth time. Losing finalists once. And he comes up with an ace. But I challenge. think it's a challenge. Mike Gives the indication. I think it's good. They both signal good. Yep. Mike wanted to challenge it, and then uh, you saw Bob with the good signal. And confirmed by the replay. That's pretty good sportsmanship right there. Yeah, on match point. Match, match point. They challenge, and then he says, no, it's good. So go back to juice. Good serve from Ram, who faulted with that double fault. And he's come up with two good first serves to stay in it. Back to Deuce. Ryan's 
beaten in the finals in 03 to go with the four times they won the championship here at the Open. So looking for another crack at it. No, oh, it's going to be pressure if they get through. It's, it doesn't matter they, who they play in the final to have a situation where you can win your 100th title at your own Grand Slam here. Lipsky finding the target once again on the overhead. And apologizing, but uh, that was again an excellent overhead. It's keeping them in there. The Ryan's are going to have to serve it out. Now take a deep breath. Terrific move from Bob Bryan. Boy, he covered some court there. He knew that Ram had to play that safe volley to try and keep himself in, trying to hold serve. And he was over there like a flash for the interception. Well, Ram swinging that one out wide. Different look and another chance to close out this service game. Perhaps prolong the inevitable, but uh, to keep themselves alive yep. in this. And they do hold with 3 5. Ryan's now serving for the match. Well, Lipsky and Ram have done their job. They're in trouble there. They were down a match point because of a double fault, and they were worked their way out of it. Now it's not easy to serve out, even though you're the champions. You've won 99 doubles titles. You're looking for 100, but you've got to serve out the match. Good start for them. And last year, of course, they were going for the calendar slam in doubles. And uh, just fell short. Yep. And they had to be feeling a, a bit of pressure. Added, there yep. was pressure then. Yep. But that's a one opportunity thing. They're going for yep. that 100 doubles title. You know they're going <laughs> to go it's well past getting, that. <laughs> that's two first serves here. Uh, not a lot on them. That one 111 miles an hour, but well placed. That's smart playing because that's three first serves. You get them in a three-quarter pace, and the chances of your opponents hitting an outright winner off the return is very, very unlikely. So here they are, match points. And it's in. No, save the, save the chest bump. They're challenging. Rehearsed that chest bump once already today. And it's good. So it's 40 15. Two more match points. <laughs> However, they can do it for real now. They're moving on to the finals here at the 2014 U.S. Open. Mike and Bob Bryan win this one 6-4-4-6, six, 6-3. Four, four, six, six, A lot of fans on hand here at Arthur Ashe Stadium watching the Bryans in action. A good show from Scott Lipsky and Rajiv Ram.